people say ritual landscape and, and powerful political landscape. Uh, so why did they leave? What was, you know, what, what would have caused them to, to leave? Yes, uh, there's violence. There's always violence, you know, there's background violence. And I think there's institutionally sanctioned violence where, you know, Chaco's reminding people to pay their taxes and that kind of thing. Um, because we don't want to kind of take an approach that violence increased or decreased because violence has been with us since we were essentially, you know, homo erectus. Between about 1250 and 1300 AD, the entire population of close to 60,000 people left the area now known as the Four Corners region of the United States. If you have somebody that's like, we need to move, and that person's somebody that you listen to, or they're going to draw you to a new place, then you're going to move with that person, right? You're going to follow them, and people migrate away. So why did these people leave? What were the circumstances that triggered this huge population migration? Even though we were warned about it, a lot of us are guilty of following what they did at Chaco. The answer is always bigger and better and more. And what we see pretty clearly in this archeological record of the Four Corners is that the ancient people tried that. And then they said, this is not the way. And when the system collapsed, they were left without the ability to feed themselves. Sometimes I hear a uh, a, a screaming in my ears, a, a roaring sound, and I think it's the sound of our civilization uh, uh, skidding off the rails. Cloudy Ridge Productions has gathered some of the foremost scholars, archaeologists, and bioarchaeologists to be featured in a series of short documentaries to address these questions. As new research is brought to light here, we again see the historical violence and unrest that played out in the ancient Four Corners may be repeating itself today, and the present mega drought and pandemic are only reinforcing the scientific evidence.